The long-awaited Windows 11 version 22H2 update is finally available, and to install it, there are a few easy options. The easiest way is to just go to Settings, then go to Windows Update, and then check for updates like that. And if it does find the Windows 11 version 22H2 update, there will be a blue box which will say Windows 11 version 22H2 and then you can just click download and install. Same goes for Windows 11, although you will have to check for hardware requirements before you can upgrade. There is another way as well which can be done through the official Microsoft website. However, it does take a little bit more work, but for people who want to maybe create installation media or even install it on a virtual machine to test it out before they actually do it on their main computer, then you should go to this website. And you can see that they have updated it to have the 22H2. So the easiest and best way if you're doing it on your host is to do Windows 11 Installation Assistant and then just click Download Now, which will download an executable, which will get all of the um, system files, download them from Microsoft and then install it on your computer. The same goes for Windows 11 Installation Media. So you can use something like Rufus or something like that, if that's how you pronounce it, to create a bootable USB or DVD. And you can just click download now for that. And for ISO, if you want to, you can maybe make like a virtual disk for that, or even better, you can use it in a virtual machine to test it before you actually upgrade, just to make sure that all of your applications work and things of the sort. So that is basically all that I know how you can upgrade to Windows 11 22H2 from Windows 11 or Windows 10, although you can do it on older versions of Windows if you think that the time is finally right to upgrade to a brand new version of Windows. You can also do registry modifications if you want to upgrade from unsupported hardware. However, it's not recommended as you won't get any updates such as security updates and feature updates from Microsoft. So anyway, that's basically all in this video. I may make another one for how to do the registry modifications if you're installing on un unsupported hardware and things of that. But right now, this is just a quick overview of how to install Windows 11 22H2 to get all of the brand new features that all of the people uh, may be loving, I think. But yeah, you get the idea. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.